Hello guys, it's your boy P once again. And this time around, we are going to be trying to map a network drive to our Linux machine. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using Ubuntu. Well, a spin of Ubuntu, we just go deep in, seems to be very pretty. But this should work in basically any Linux machine. Without further ado, let's get busy. For this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and open our terminal. And we're going to go ahead and type in the following command. We're going to create a directory in which our network drive is going to be mounted. So we're just going to say sudo mkdir for, cre for um, mount uh, creating a directory. A space launch, we're going to say uh, mnt for mount and we're just going to call this share. Let's see if he likes us. And he's asking me for the password. By the way, guys, do not even try to hack the system because in reality, this is only for training purpose. I'm going to delete this. So let's go ahead and name the file that we want to. We're going to give it whatever name we want to. So we're going to retype again, sudo mkr, uh, mkdir. And we're going to mount it, chair, and we're going to call the folder, uh, let's call it network, and let's do an underscore and drive. Why not? Let's just call it that. And let's say enter. Now, to verify, guys, that this folder was created, we're going to go ahead and open our file manager. We're going to go over system or file system. We're going to go to the mount folder. And lo and behold, there is a share folder and inside is my network drive. As you can see, it's completely empty. All right, perfect. We're going to go ahead and minimize this. And let's go back to our um, uh, terminal. So here we are in the terminal. And what we're going to do next is we're going to install the application that's going to help us to set up the mounting of the share drive. And this is this, it's called the SIF util. So this utility, you can find it by just installing it. So sudo apt install cifs um, dash util. So utils, and we're going to click enter. And it's telling me the app install. Of course, I did something wrong here. So we're going to go back and I added a. This not supposed to be there. And awesome. I am glad that I'm seeing this error in case you guys happens to have the same error. There you go. And as you can see, we're moving right ahead and we are installing this. So pretty much that's what it is. It's, it's that simple. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to add the, the network storage perimeter uh, in which our network drives reside on the server. And for that, I'm going to enter a very long um, and tedious code here, which I'm going to share with you guys in the description below for this video. So lo and behold, you don't need to really remember everything because I'm here to help you. Again, this is going to be uh, sudo. We're going to say mount dot c i f s and let's double check let me make sure that i'm doing this correctly because it's such a long code i am reading it so we're going to say space and we're going to go uh whack whack and now guys i'm going to enter the ip address or the location of the server that we're going to be using today again this is also a virtual machine which is going to be destroyed at the end of this uh, tutorial so don't even bother and then what i'm going to do is inside our virtual machine in the which i call it the server i have a network drive that is the one that i want to share with everybody in my network which i call it cloud storage and uh, storage number two is what i called it so we're going to say that we want to mount that particular one in the share, which is the one that we created on our client machine, and the name that we gave to the folder was uh, network um, hyphen uh, 
no, it's underscore um, drive. That's what we called it. So that's where we want to put everything. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and give it the permission. And we're going to say username equal to, of course, well, P, Pedro. And the reason why we're doing this, guys, is because we want to make sure that only you have access to this particular uh, network drive from this PC. If you happen to have um, multiple users utilizing your PC, of course, then um, you don't want them to have access to whatever you have. And I'm going to put in this password, which is the one that I created for that specifically. You, whatever password you create, then that is what it is. So again, it is sudo mount the CFS, and we're going to enter the IP address or the location in which the network drive, which in my server is called Cloud Storage 2. And then we're going to mount it um, to the share file. And I'm going to go back because I'm missing something here. Let's double check. Uh, yeah, here we go. There we go. And it's called Network Drive. And we're giving the proper permission to the user. It's going to be entering this. So we're going to go ahead and click Enter. And lo and behold, guys. Now, let's verify that we actually are able to see whatever it is on that Network Drive. And I put some files inside that place. So I'm going to go back into my system in the file manager i'm gonna go over to mount i'm gonna go to the share drive and the network drive that i created and it's loading as you can see over here in the bottom and lo and behold there you go guys i have access to a bunch of folders and files inside the mount drive now guys this is a temporary mounting in order for us to be able to access this network drive automatically every time we reboot our system, we need to do one thing. We need to edit the FFTAP file configuration. And for that, we're going back to our terminal and we're gonna say sudo, and then you can use whatever editors you want. Um, I'm going to use uh, nano because it seems to be one that I like. You can do whatever um, editors you want to use. Um, and of course, we're going to go into the XC, as it's called, or ETC, as some people like to call it. And it's called the FS tab. And this is the place where we need. We're going to click Enter. And as you can see, the FS tab config file is here. So we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And here, I'm going to comment this out by doing a hash dash and I'm going to say um, something interesting like this is my network uh, drive or uh, even better we're going to say network share drive and now that it is commented um, this will not show this will just be there for the following now at the bottom what we're going to do obviously is to enter the perimeters and the perimeter is going to be the location in this case we're going to enter the server which is the one that i created on a virtual machine for the purpose of this and we're going to say um cloud um dash storage guys make sure that you enter if you have any uppercase as linux is very case sensitive and a space and we're going to say mount because we want to mount this where into the share drive and we call the folder inside uh, network, remember, uh, low uh, drive. And this is the place where we're going to be mounting this. And we're going to mount it with a CIFS. Um, and then remember to use the proper credentials. So it is username. And it was equal to Pedro. In this case, it's me. Uh, P, whatever you want to call me. In this case, the real name I put in there is Pedro. And we're going to give uh, the password that we also created and is equal to whatever you want to put in here. I'm going to use something rather complicated. And of course, we want to add something like um, tab zero, zero, tab zero, just for the purpose of this training. We're going to say enter. And actually, we're going to 
write this down. And in Nano, in order to do that, you press Control O, and that is to write. And the file name is gonna be the FS tab. We're gonna say Enter, and then we're gonna exit it out by clicking Control X. And now we are done, guys. And basically, that's all you need to mount a network drive in a Linux 16 six system. If you have any comments of anything that you want, have any issues with, just please comment in the comment section below. And like always, it's always a pleasure. Have an awesome day.